Um, I would say it was very challenging project, very challenging uh, PhD because I, I starting, I mean, we started from nothing. The project there was nothing in the lab. We didn't know anything about uh, spinning or how to produce textile fibers. Because of course the PhD is not like, yeah, it's so great, I will, I mean, it's five years of up and down, I mean, you, <laughs> you have. Uh, so we are mainly working in the separation of different components from wood. Anne's thesis, uh, it turned out to be, of course, uh, a success. But at the beginning, it was everything else than a success. Every day when I went to the spinning team and uh, we had a lot of spinning problems. Of course it depends on the PhD. Sometimes you, st you, you start the PhD uh, in a project that is already running. Uh, one of our proposals was then followed up and suddenly in March the breakthrough came. To make the breakthrough then it took like us two years. So that was the two first year was very hard work. Uh, because it's very difficult to be in the lab and trying again and again and then seeing no results. So the last three years of the PhD were very exciting. We had this collaboration with art students because we were able to produce fibers. We didn't know how to produce any fabrics or what to do with the fibers. Art students are actually doing something with it and then to see the final product because the first time I, I say uh, or Marianne, I said, yeah, this is the scarf from the fiber, from the iron cell fiber. I was like, really? It looks like real. <laughs> it's not only that you do good science and good research in the laboratory, but you also have to consider uh, the communication, the connections. You have to travel, you have to prepare uh, uh, meetings, you have to prepare uh, talks in, in uh, conferences. Uh, and last but not least, you have to prepare papers. Uh, four papers. I wrote four papers. And then um, the first one was the most difficult one because it's the first paper. So basically, you don't know how to write a paper. Since we were collaborating from the very beginning with a big team, Helsinki University, uh, other institutions like VTT. I know Herbert Sixter, Professor Herbert Sixter, for many years. It's an outstanding group with outstanding results. It's very, you need to be a hard worker, let's say, to work in Herbert Sixta's group, but it's worth it because you learn a lot. That's how you, you learn. She's an excellent researcher, a hard worker. She's used to really systematically uh, investigate uh, different, different uh, options, different aspects. What I think about the defense, she was active and understood the questions and asked in the right way. I see a large, a great potential in the ion cell fiber technology. I don't know, you shouldn't uh, lose hope. I mean, always try to be positive. Like, okay, this doesn't work, but don't give up. I mean, you need to keep on trying and trying and then it will, hopefully it will work. <laughs> you will get, uh, you will find a solution. So you shouldn't be afraid of facing problems. That's the main thing, actually. Yeah.